Is it true then? About Castle Oblivion? That's none of your concern. And Axel? Gone. He may have disappeared for good. What? Then, can you tell me, what remains if a nobody is destroyed? What's there to leave behind? We're not even supposed to be in the first place. And the members at Castle Oblivion, where'd they go? Nothing's left of them. In which case, I'll never see them again? That's right. You coming? Huh? Oh, yeah. What's happening? Will he wake from this? I am told Roxas will return, provided the hero is stripped of all his memories. Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories Riku story. In the last episode, we defeated Zexion of Organization 13, but we weren't the ones to finish, finish him off. We weren't the ones to deal the killing blow. Oh no. Oh no. That was reserved to Axel and Dark Riku? He was using the replica Riku to actually absorb the power from Zexion. Very weird. All right, so we also got some cards that I wasn't able to show you last time that I should show you now. Uh, we got the dark side card. It copies the enemy card your opponent is using. I uh, wouldn't highly recommend it. And the Zexion card uh, causes attacks to confuse enemies at a certain rate. Uh, neither of which I think we will really be using as we go into the game. So let's go ahead, use this door. We now have Mickey with us in the flesh, which is good. And we have a card to Twilight Town. Let's go ahead and use that. Where am I? What is this place? Oh, your majesty? You must battle me all alone. Against my dark powers. <sighs> What's this? Are you giving up? Finally ready to surrender to your fate? You're not the true Ansem. Oh. Mm. Your scent is different. The Ansem in my heart smells darker. The odor is more foul. But... Your scent just isn't that. It's not darkness. It's something else. I finally understand. You're the one who guided me, when it started. You came to me pretending to be Ansem. You gave me the card. To make me face the darkness. Hmm. That, that is, is correct. Diz, or so I am known. You, I've watched you all along. Really? Who are you? And what do you want from me? For you to choose. Choose? You are a special entity. You exist between light and dark. You stand in the twilight. You are to meet Namine, then choose. Namine? Who's that? You will know soon. Anyone who has played Kingdom Hearts 2 is probably freaking out right now. So we were just introduced to a man named Diz. A man who apparently put Riku on this entire path. So that Ansem that we've seen and fought before 
wasn't actually Ansem. It was this man named Diz. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our deck before we get started. Twilight Town's deck is pretty big. Yet again, this is another world where we are going to be relying on the Lexius card. So I'm just going to get into a battle right away, show you what again what that is, use Lexius, and we are just going to slate it up. Now, there are a lot of enemies like the Air Soldiers here that will actually give us a, uh, a lot of use out of... Um, out of our beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, Lexius card. The reason for that is actually quite simple. They have so much health that they will die with that instant third hit, and that is pretty darn useful. So, as always, this is a wonderful time to gain some levels, uh, especially with that Lexius card. Any world you go to now is going to be just fine to do that. Soldiers and air soldiers give a ton of XP. In that one room alone, we got like 6,000 experience points, which is pretty damn crazy. Uh, it's actually worth just looking at our map, too. Uh, this is a weird, this is a weird world. Weird world. All right, so let's go ahead and use this door. Uh, we need a one or higher, so let's just go ahead and give us a... Mm, what do we want here? Let's do Lasting Days. Lasting Days is always useful, especially since we have the Lexius card. We can kind of take advantage of the new waves of enemies that come in. All right, and it looks like we already have a key to beginnings room. So, you know what? I'm just gonna, well, maybe. Uh, I was gonna say, I'm just gonna go head over there. Let's do it. A struggle? What struggle, I wonder? I know what it is. Okay, we're, we're, oh, why can't I, okay. I'm like, why can't I jump high enough? All right, so we don't want to do this door. We want to go up here. Uh, apparently, though, I don't know why, but I'm not able to grab onto the ledges, which is a really weird thing. So let's go ahead, use this door. The key to beginnings, we need a zero or, uh, we need a zero, a zero card. So let's go ahead, use Mingling Worlds and a key of beginnings card. Maybe Naminé is here. Hold it! <laughs> You've changed. Your own darkness. It doesn't frighten you anymore. How can you tell? Because I'm you. No, I'm me. I'm me, he says. Must be nice being real. A fake like me could never get away with saying that. That's right. I'm a phony. A fake. The way I look, the way I feel, everything I remember. And even this newfound power. Huh? I thought by finding some new strength, I could finally be someone, someone who's not at all you. But nothing changes. I'm still just empty. Everything about me is borrowed. As long as you're around, I'll never be more than a shadow. So here we go against Dark Riku yet again. This fight is going to be super fast, super frantic, and hopefully you win. There is no pausing here. There is nothing. It is crazy, dude. One of you is going to lose this fight. That is it. That is that is that is that is the story. That is what happens. One of you needs to lose, and you know what? That ain't gonna be us because we are gonna enter dark mode right away, and then we are going to just try to do as much damage as we possibly can because as you can see that dark break actually does so much damage now he is uh we need to go ahead and use our parasite cage here and now we are going to go ahead and switch to our genie jafar card and then we are going to see if we can smash him as much as possible get ready here i'm hoping that he uses his slate he did he can't break us because we are using genie jafar and here we go here we go Down goes Dark Riku. Like I said, guys, that fight is fast. 
and you are basically just mashing the triangle button the whole time. Use that Parasite Cage when he uses that Shadow card, and we leveled up. You need to use your Parasite Cage, get rid of his enemy card, then you use your Jafar, and you win, dude. You straight up win. 48. Pretty good. So, it's over. Death doesn't frighten me. Good riddance to a phony life. My heart was never real. I'm sure even what I'm feeling now is probably all fake. What are you feeling? What happens when a fake dies? One like me. Where will my heart go? Does it disappear? It'll go somewhere. Maybe... to the same place as mine. <laughs> A faithful replica until the very end. That's... okay. Wow. That was probably the saddest scene in Kingdom Hearts. Wow. Well, uh we killed we killed our our we killed ourselves in a way. All right, so we want to of course head this way. Uh I'm so sad, guys. I'm so sad. Uh we'll go ahead and use this. Uh we could fight if we want, but it's no real no real point. We want to try to see if we can come over here. Uh, because I actually would love to use a Moments Reprieve card, just to make sure that we do get that save in. Uh, because, obviously... I mean, some things are sad. And that fight is also so hectic that I don't really want to do it again, to be honest with you. It is a super fun fight, though. Uh, just... It's really easy, uh, considering that it's so late in the game. It is a very easy fight, but... Still. Alright, we'll go ahead and save. Alright. Let's go ahead and open this door. We're going to use a, um, uh, what do I want to do here? Strong initiative. Great. It's a, it's a three, so that works out pretty well. And of course, we do want to try to, uh, hitting level 50 would be really cool. If we can hit level 50 before the next, the next place we go, uh, I'll, I'd be happy with that. I'd be, I'd be pretty happy. All right, we leveled up. We are level 49, which is wonderful. I'm going to put it into my health, even though... Uh, I think we're okay with our health, but, you know, whatever. Alright, so, 49's okay. We're gonna continue on, actually. Uh, and this is a good time to actually talk to you guys about something that I am considering doing for the channel. Most of you already know, because the people that watch these are people that already kind of come to streams and whatnot, and follow me on Twitter and all that jazz, uh, or Patreons, whatever. But for those of you who aren't, and are maybe watching this series and aren't very vocal or anything, I would love to get your guys' feedback on something that I'm thinking about doing. Which is actually, uh, to, to kind of stop doing these type of videos. These recorded, pre-recorded, uh, walkthrough or let's play videos. Um, that's actually what I'm, I'm, I'm considering doing. Is to, is to stop doing that, uh, and instead doing this type of video, but live. So, instead of doing the live streams that I do now, they would basically be these walkthrough type let's play videos, um, where we would go through the game in a more, in a more uh, commentary focused instead of chat focused or whatever, whatever the case may be. I'm curious to see if you guys would rather that type of format or if this is something that you guys are into. So perfect. That that little speech led us right here. Uh, so we need to use we need to use uh, 44, so 50 total value here. Um, luckily, we do have some nines that we can use, which is nice. Uh, I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna use all of these because, like, we're not gonna be using any of those. Uh, Bottomless Darkness, I don't really care about those either. Perfect. Alright, let's go ahead and use our Key of Guidance. We haven't seen a Key of Guidance card in a very long time. So I would love, I would love your guys' feedback on that. Let me know. Let me know what you guys are thinking.
Are you Namine? Yes. I see. That was you. Huh? Forget it. Nothing. Please, come this way. Sora! What have you done to Sora? Nothing. He's just asleep. To get his memory back. So, Sora chose to forget about this castle and get his old memories back? You have a choice to make, too. Why me, too? No one's messed with my memories. It's not your memories. It's your darkness. In your heart, there is darkness. And in that darkness is Ansem. He may be at bay for now, but eventually he'll wake, and he will take over you just like he did before. But I have powers you can use. With my powers, I can put a tight lock on your heart. That way, Ansem could never come out from inside you. What happens to me if I let you do that? Will I forget? Everything? Like Sora? I'll have to. The darkness in you will be sealed tight just like your memory. You'll stop remembering the darkness. You'll go back to how you were. Riku, please choose. He doesn't even look worried. Will I sleep like that too? Yes. Figures. Sora always did as he pleased. Whatever we'd be doing together, he'd find a way to slack off. Even trying to leave the islands. I did all the work on the raft by myself. That's it. When this slacker wakes up, I'll tell him off. I told him to take care of Kyrie, and here he is just taking a nap. But I can't chew him out like he deserves if I've been asleep. <laughs> I don't need my heart locked. I'm ready. I'm gonna fight Ansem. But what if his darkness overtakes you? If that happens, then the darkness will show me the way. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling that you knew I would say that? I didn't know. I hoped. I wanted you to face the darkness. Because you're the one who can. So that's the reason. That's why you came to my rescue inside that light. In the form of Kyrie. When did you know? I knew when I met you. You and Kyrie smell the same. Look after Sora. This is amazing. So it looks like Riku has chosen not to follow Sora by sleeping. Instead, we're gonna go face the darkness. Dude. Riku's so cool, man. All right, so we're gonna backtrack all the way back because obviously if we look at the map, uh, the Conqueror's Respite that we need actually isn't uh, until all the way up here. Um, so it's pretty far away. So you need to use a lot of cards here, a lot of cards to get through. Uh, but it is, it is, it is worth it. It's definitely worth it. Because once Twilight Town is done, we'll be heading to the final world of the entire game. All right, so I ended up simping all of the rooms, uh, so I'll just show you what I did. I made a Mingling Worlds here, which made this. I made a Stagnant Space here. I made a Trinkle Darkness here and a Sleeping Darkness here. Not a big deal. I just wanted to show you uh, how I how I decided to get to where we need to go. Oops. Well, that was annoying and useless. Okay, continuing on. 
Uh, so I just wanted to make all of the rooms that we could use to get over here. Uh, I will be going back and actually doing all of this, but... But I figured... Or, or fighting, I should say. But honestly, we're level 49, so we're here in Conqueror's Respite. We're level 49 already. Uh, I'm not that concerned with getting gaining more levels right now. Uh, I do believe that we will be able to beat this game at this level regardless. Uh, I'm just going to save just in case. All right. Uh, so now let's continue to the second floor exit hall. Oh, gosh. I guess you decided not to go to sleep. How'd you know that? I heard it from Diz. Do you know him? Well, I'm not sure. Got a feeling that I've met him somewhere. Hey, who are you? I could be nobody or anybody. It is up to you whether you choose to believe in me or not. Boy, you really like pushing decisions on other people. And you have pushed away slumber, making the choice to face Ansem. Do you think I'm reckless? You have chosen your own path. Are you supporting me? Or are you abandoning me? That will be your choice as well. What's this? The organization will pursue you. Like a pack of hunting dogs, they will sneak up on you if they sense your presence. However, this cloak that is worn by nobodies will render their eyes and their noses useless. The ears, not so. They wear this to give themselves protection from being devoured by darkness. Is it clear? Even the organization cannot rule the darkness. Doesn't matter. I won't run from the darkness. Hmm. The card will draw out your heart's darkness. Finish your business with Ansem. Come on. Let's go. And we get the card, Castle Oblivion. And the trophy card master, Riku, for getting all the cards. Nice. All right, so we can talk to Mickey. Gosh, it sort of feels like I've met Diz somewhere before. Weird. So it looks like Diz is on our side, kind of. All right, let's go to the first floor entrance hall. He said this card will draw Ansem out. Don't worry. We can defeat him together. Sorry. I've got to face him alone. But why? There's no point in doing this if I can't do it on my own. But I do need a favor. If Ansem is the victor, he is going to enslave me. If that happens, use your powers to destroy- Of course! I'll be right there to save you. Huh? No, th that's not it. I want you to destroy- No way! No matter what happens, I'm gonna be right there to help you. I promise you that. Unless you don't believe I'll come through for you. I choose to believe in you. Always, Your Majesty. And I in you. You're not gonna lose. I know it. Thanks. And we got the trophy Storyteller Riku. Guys. In the next episode of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, we're going to complete the game. We're going to beat Ansem, 
and we're going to finish Riku's story, and we are going to pave the road for Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like. It really does help. Let me know uh, what your thoughts are on the question I asked before. Showing up on screen right now is a video that YouTube has chosen specifically for you, as well as the playlist for Sora's story of Chain of Memories, and a Patreon button if you want to support the channel monetarily. $3 a month, and you will be able to decide what we play next. Thank you all for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender to the darkness.